So we're going to fill it up with some oil here and uh, maybe fire it up see if all that sounds gone. Uh, there's other, one other thing I wanted to replace, probably not today though, is the uh, coolant temperature sensor. It's not working. Um, that's probably the, that's back in here and it's usually a real bugger to get out. <laughs> you usually have to clip the wires and then get in there with a good socket. But we're going to fill her up and see if she'll fire up. We need 4.7, we got two there. And of course, we'll check for some leaks. <laughs> I hope there's no leaks. That would really suck. Uh, we've got the wires hooked up. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to do today was have a look at that uh, steering arm there. See why it's what's going on there because it makes it really hard to drive like that. But uh, I don't know if I'll get to that today or not. Got more than I figured I was gonna, but probably want to fire this up and listen for some noises up top here if it's still tapping. I hope it's not. Better not be. I think we fixed that before. And uh, with that new hose, should be good now. So, should be good. There's a big word there that says should. <laughs> 4.7 liters. I need another two after this. It holds quite a bit. Got a new camera person right now. Better say hello. No, I'm not saying nothing. Okay, there's two. Let's go get another two. Okay, I just got my little flashlight here, but I'm looking for anything leaking. There's got to be enough in there to start leaking out the bottom anyways. Looking so far so good. That might be a different one she runs though, who knows. Alright, there's the rest of her going in. And uh, it says two 4.7 liters including filter, so hopefully this is enough. Um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Although it's not too much. That filter is going to take a bit. That's a fairly big canister in there. Mind you, the filter takes up a lot of that room, but there's still a lot of, a lot of area in that canister. I really want to get the uh, adapter for the spin-on one, but it's bad enough now it's got an alternator on it. It's supposed to be 6 volt this thing, right? So well, that's about as best as I can get that drained out for now. Unless I leave her propped up for a bit, but no. I'll just dump that back into the container. And uh, put this, whatever the heck this thing was, I don't know. I got the proper one coming for it, so that's good. All right, let's hook up the battery and uh, some gas to her and we'll see what happens. Okay, we got our temporary tank ready here. And, uh, oh, she's ready to come out already. Get that little, ah! What the heck? Oh, lower. Yeah, lower. Well, that was really orange coming out. That's weird. Oh, lower, lower. Get on the hose there, you dink. There we go. I just love washing my hands in gasoline. It just feels so nice, especially on the cuts. Oh, man. Totally forgot about the gravity thing. Okay, we got that, we got that. We're just going to whip over and check our oil level here. Let's just pull the stick out. We're uh, clean right now. I'm hoping it's a little bit higher. Let's see here. Pull her out. Dip her in, pull her out, and oh, it's well, it's higher on one side than the other. How on earth does that work? <laughs> what? That's not even right. It's weird. It only seems to like to go in one way. I don't know if that's right. Maybe it's not even the right stick. It looked like it was down there far enough, so who knows. But uh, we'll uh, pull it out here again. Oh yeah, we're good, we're right on the... So I'm expecting it to probably go down a little bit when it fills that filter up. Would be my thinkings. She's right bang on there now, so everything should be good. Right here. Don't wanna get run over. And the gas is on. Should be getting fuel there, it's higher than everything else. Battery's hooked up. Oil's in her. Should be good. Alright, let's see how fast she'll fire up after sitting for so long here. 
sure we got some throttle on and give her a bit of chokage. killed it. That's not so good. Hi, Peanut! Got you that time. Let's see if she'll start here again. Needed a bit of chokage there. Huh. Nope. I wonder why it's doing that now. Hmm. Interesting. Get a mind of its own. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I'll open that a little more though. Mm -hmm. Like an 
eighth of a turn, so I think I need to go through that carburetor. Oh, oh well. Seems to be happy there, but we got no heat. There's nothing there, so that needs to be uh, replaced as well. But uh, I'm going to look around for some leaks, especially around the oil filter and stuff, and see if we got anything. All right, we're looking for some oil leaks. This should be getting warm here now. Oh, not yet. And uh, we'll look underneath here, too. out of there but it's not lasting much long but yeah that needle there is I think it's the idle circuit the air idle screw and it's hardly open seems to be running pretty good there idles right down seems to be happy there so I don't know maybe I'll try it there for a while but I guess uh, really when it's an idle it doesn't really need a whole lot you know so well, that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I'll let her sit there a little while and then see if anything seeps out around here and stuff. But uh, I want to maybe have a look at uh, this arm here, too. I'm going to take this nut off. Hopefully it's not all stripped and wrecked. <laughs> I'll get a socket on there and see if I can see what's going on in there. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, oh, boy. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I want to get this this joint off of here too, but uh, something definitely wrong in there. I bet you it's. I hope it's just this arm that's stripped. I'd be a lot nicer to just replace this arm than uh, that shaft coming out. Oh. I'm gonna let this air out a minute here, and then uh, we'll be looking at that. Okay, here's hoping we can get this thing off of here. It's not wrecked already. I would hate to have to heat that up. We got an uh, inch and a quarter. Probably use the impact, but I'll just use my uh, my big feller here, maybe. And I'll maybe put a little extension on them. Big three quarter. Let's see. Well, something's not right with this. With this thing, I don't know. What's... Oh, my toes! Laughing at me, I'm learning her. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I got the fan going, blowing some carbon monoxide out. The meter showing zero, that's good. And I'm gonna have to find a, a proper old schematic for this because I mean, they got all kinds of good stuff on here. Oh no. It's not good. What is what? Oh, what? Well, this is supposed to be hooked into that button, and that's how you're supposed to start it. Now, some jack butt decided, let's hook up a, a dangerous thing that, you know, someone could start it in gear and get run over. Well, why people got to do that? Well, it's not looking great there, but... Uh, I don't know if it's much better here. I don't think they had enough washers on there, is my thought. Or they should have one underneath here, maybe. Where's that? Because uh... if you get it too, too tight into the case, it's going to hit right down, which it's been doing, right? It's been hitting there, and that's not really a good thing. I kind of think, I kind of think that's all it was, was just, just it wasn't the right sequence. So I got to get, 
I like to put a washer in behind there so it sits out a little bit more, but maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe you're not supposed to. That was what was on it. It's a great big one. And I don't think that's quite right. See those? I'm going to see if I can find a, an original picture of that. Well, this is the other side here, and I don't know, this is weird because this side has a big gap. And uh, I can actually hear the splines in there. And this one, this side's tight. So this side's good. I don't know why the other side's so out of whack. But I think this arm... Hopefully it's this arm is wore out on the other side and there's supposed to be a taper to it. I'll see if I can show you that on the other side because that should only go so far and then tighten up and then that would be it. The other one I think is, I might have to get one for that other side. <laughs> Do I get two? Because <laughs> then I'll have problems with this one. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Let's have a better look at her. Really hard to show you but there's supposed to be a taper on there. And... Uh, taper on this one. Gosh, I wonder if they've got two right sides. I don't know if that's something possible or, or what, but this definitely goes on a lot further than it should. Which makes me think that maybe the tapers, I don't know. Something is not right because that's definitely going on too far. Gosh, I hope it's just this piece here that's got a problem, not this shaft in here, because that thing is absolutely in there buried, and I really don't want to have to dig into that just to fix this problem. But anyways, I've got some uh, some big hardware here that I brought up, and uh, I don't think that one's going to fit. No, no, nope, not going to fit that one. And this is like a really huge one. This is probably miles too big. Ah. Uh, and I got one of these, and it's probably not the right size either. No. Darn it. Well. Boy, now, you got to look at it. When you order these things, they're going to show you one left hand and right hand. Well, which one's which? <laughs> On the seat is left hand, or or what? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look at her closer. But I think I got a problem with that. Oh, that's not good. And I just hope it's not the taper gone off of this thing. Because that sucks. That would mean this whole thing has to come off again. Unbolt and take all this greasy stuff they painted off. Pull that thing off. Oh man, that's a big job. It's a big job. So I don't know if this is going to make any difference. Doing uh, what I'm going to try to do here. Holy mother. I don't know. Let me put these on back on here and then maybe these on and maybe this on and maybe that on <laughs> I don't know let's uh, put you on the tripod here tighten her up see what happens all right a lock washer to her we'll crank her up here and see what happens I don't know not a good thing. Need something in behind. That taper, I think, is just gone. Because what that's going to do now is eat into the side of the tractor. Yeah, there's something wrong in that thing. But it's still moving the way it, uh, it was before. Yep, she's worn out. I'll show you what her, where she's moving real bad here. Okay, this is moving the steering wheel. So there's a pile of play in it there still. So I think that taper's gone. And this is moving the front. This is what happens when you drive. So it's definitely got a wear out, worn out spot in there or something. That's tight onto the thing there, but there's no spline. 
for uh, taper left in that, I don't believe. Boy, I hope it's that and not the actual shaft. Okay, someone put new joints on here. I think they were thinking that that's what was wore out, but unfortunately it's not. I'm gonna see, whoop, oh, get back here. I'm gonna see if I can get this off of here. Just. Oh, don't make me get the pickle fork, really? Really, bud? Really, you wanna go there? Nope, you don't wanna go there. Ha, 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 ha. You're supposed to film up when I'm doing that. Ha, 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 ha. It's okay, moment's passed. There we go, that's better. Oh, and everything's falling off. Well, there's the arm, there is a number on it. Ugh, wore out, five, six, six, eight, six, eight, wore out. So, I'm hoping that it's just this part that's wore out. Shouldn't go on any other way because they do have uh, like a larger spline here and there and everywhere kind of thing. You get it on there, but uh, yeah, this thing is, uh, it shouldn't go on that far. Gosh, I'm hoping it's this part. The thing is, it doesn't look bad. That'd be the cheaper piece to order, that's for sure. And it shouldn't go on that far. I didn't really want to take the other side apart to just test it because that's a lot of work just to get that off. So I think uh, maybe I'll try ordering one of these. See if I can get uh, the right one too. That left side or right side now? I presume sitting on the tractor seat, this would be left, that'd be right. You know, you might stand at the front, look this way, and that's left, and this is right. <laughs> Maybe they're both the same. I don't know. Let's go compare the two of them. Well, to me, they uh, to me they look both the same, and that would kind of make sense. Like, really, why do you need a left side and right side? Like the other one's up here more. Like that's the only difference is it kind of sits back here on the other side. This one's forward a bit more for where the gears work in there, but. I'll have to see if I can maybe order one of these. Oh, gosh, I hope it's this problem. It's really hard to tell just by looking at it, but I could go and put the micrometer on it and maybe measure this out here and see which one's out. So I'm gonna go in millimeters here. I just want to, it's gonna be tricky to measure this, but uh, I wanted to see if I can get a rough size between the things here. So we got uh, 28.63 millimeter. In the back and no oh, the front's definitely smaller gosh I hope it's not the other part is more out mm -hmm. 27 so we got about a millimeter or so difference let's go measure the shaft on that thing too okay I'll just read this out to you but the back side we got 2785 and 26 yeah so it's about the same but I think it's that other piece that's wore out I don't know Got me kind of nervous, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll just have a better look at her here. I'm going to use my magnifier and glass thing here. Watch this. Ooh, that's pretty beat up. That's pretty beat up. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like that too much. Can you see that peanut? It's pretty rounded off, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna, I guess, order an arm for it. And uh, hopefully that's enough. Well, that's what the new one should look like anyways for the, where that, uh, that shaft that comes out of that steering box where that uh, arm mounts to. That's what that should look like when it's new. Well, there it is, $75.53 US for that piece. And, uh, yeah, you can see the splines in there a little bit, not the greatest, but you can get that. Or, if I get my thing to work for me here, you could get the whole entire thing with the arms for $688.57 for the whole steering box. And those arms. I'm going to try just the arm. Oh my gosh, I hope that's all it is. 
just wore out a bit but anyways we will uh, have to probably order that uh, Steiner didn't seem to show it I'm gonna double check here and uh, see if their price is any better than the 75.53 but uh, usually that'll probably cost me about 40 odd bucks to ship that too though that's the thing right Blech. Well, there's Steiner, and they've got that whole box for six nineteen ninety nine, which is a bit cheaper, but it doesn't come with the arms. It's like, well, you need them, too. All you get is the steering box, so I'm like, ooh, uh, ooh. What do you do now, right? Uh, they don't seem to list that arm at all. That's it. All they show is that, so. Uh-oh. Uh so fix that Ford wants uh, $53.01 to ship that to me. Holy jumping, eh? <laughs> Shipping is so ridiculous now. So that's going to end up being a pretty darn expensive part by the time you get here and do the exchange and all that crap. Uh, boy, oh boy, I kind of need it though, don't I? That ends up being a pretty darn expensive freaking part, you know that? <laughs> Only jumping. I mean, $53 to ship that? Oh man, I don't know if you can even see that. But um, that'll be uh, US too, so i got to convert that to Canadian plus... The uh, exchange rate, uh, or no, sorry, the uh, there'll be brokerage probably on that too, the duty stuff coming over. So I bet you by the time I'm all said and done, that'll be probably about $140 part. Maybe a little more. <laughs> Jeez, eh? Holy freaking crap. Well, that's it for today. Hang on, i got to tap your head. A little lens clap. Lens cap wasn't open in there, but that's it for today. I'll have to get that part in. I did the conversion. It's really bad right now. I should have looked at that first. $128 US ends up being about $168 Canadian. Plus there'll be brokerage on that too. So there'll be another brokerage fee and then 13% uh, tax probably on that too. So holy freaking crap. That's going to be 100 and probably almost a $200 part by the time it gets here. <laughs> Isn't that awful? That's a lot for shipping though. $53 for that. Those little wee rings I got for that, that pipe, oil drain pipe, I think it, they charged me $43 just for that. Ridiculous. But anyways, I think they're making money on shipping, something telling me. But uh, anyways, you guys have a good day. We'll catch you all later, and uh, I think we'll check the heat gauge next. See if I can get that out without trying to cut that line. Sometimes they don't come out again very easily with a wrench, so... Um, but I'd like to get the heat gauge working. Uh, unfortunately, the one I got comes with a different style gauge. I'd like to have stayed with the older style gauge. And probably the gauge itself is fine. It's probably the sensor. It might just need cleaning. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can get it out without, without wrecking that line. And uh, then we'll uh, uh, maybe try to warm it up or something with something just to see if it'll start to move the gauge a little bit. But... Uh, I kind of doubt it. Some hot water or something, dip it in that, it should move. So, But anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a good day.